Okay. Centering. Okay. Just on top, hand on the back, not on the side. A lot of you guys do, do the hand out here. And I don't have any force or stability from there, but here I do. And straighten it out just like that from here, okay? I'm gonna just wheel wedge once because I feel a bubble in there. Go back that wheel wedge, okay. So wheel wedge center. And press until I feel it kind of dry out. It's getting a little sticky. I'll back off. It might take you a few times, okay? Then you can start to turn your thumbs down. This is the point, okay, some of us, Austin, we're rushing to get to this point. We need to master those previous steps to get here. Okay, some of us are doing all right until we enter and then it's kind of getting wobbly. Yes. That the main problem there, there's two problems. One, either we didn't have it completely centered we didn't have it completely centered, or it came off when we were entering. In which case, I would suggest to continue throwing, continue pulling that out, okay? All that'll happen is be a little wobbly, but we can kind of trim it at the end. It's still good practice. But what a lot of us aren't doing is this, where we're entering and opening. No, so you can come out of it, yep, but we're not specifically doing that step. We're entering and then go straight to pulling. Okay, remember enter, open, and compress the bottom. Sometimes forget about that compressing the bottom thing. Okay, inside the, the, the base of your cylinder should be flat. The bottom should be flat. A lot of ours are kind of cupped. The base should be flat. Collar, bevel, and pull. Repeat. Collar, bevel, and pull. Now, a lot of you are having a tendency where we're really thick. I'm using a lot more pressure on the bottom than on the, on the top. And a lot of you are coming all the way up to the top and you're going to be tempered. That's why you have to feather and really thin. And we want to have even thickness throughout. Collar. Double. Clean that rim up, 
Okay, make that a lot more tight. I'm going to hold that sponge, kind of like I'm telling you a little bit. Stick it down to the bottom. So the last thing, this is new for you guys, is a wet foot trim. Okay, and it's going to get rid of some of this extra clay. It's just a neater way to do the bottom. Um, so I'm going to hold this like a pencil. I'm make a fist with my left hand. And, and I don't know, kids are confused. A lot of kids want to do this. A lot of kids want to like, you know, go and push the teeth into the clay like that. That's wrong. We're just going to use this to cut into the clay. You can see how the direction is going to cut into the clay. And I'm just going to hold it really tight and enter into the clay. Try not to let it move. So it touches the bath. I'm going to pause. And I'll pinch the needle tool. Cut underneath of that little ribbon. off. Now, we're to the point where we should start keeping some of these. And here's what I want you to do. I haven't had students do this in the past, but I want us to write our name. See, take this, and I want you to put it up under a bucket. And put like a tool or a small piece of clay, a little scrap underneath of there. Um, and wait one day. Okay, that's going to allow enough air for it to get there for us to get into a soft, leather hard state. And that's when I want you to go back in, and I want you to personalize personalize these, okay? And, and there's all kinds of different things that you could do. It's not just on the potter's wheel. Um, but just decorative wise, for instance, using a tool mark. Just think about that, you guys. Um, with 60 some students all making those cylinders in here, I want them to be personalized. Yeah, practice our creativity a little bit. Okay, does this demonstration help you a little bit more? Yeah. Now that you've thrown for a week. Okay, but the biggest thing is if I haven't given you pressure on your hands and you haven't felt that pressure, holler at me and say, Mr. Clark, hold me stable. You know, I'll come over and I'll just hold your hands still. Okay? Any questions you guys? No. Nope. All right.